Hello students, today we are going to do the chemical actions of halolecane and haloalene. First we have done in the last class nucleophilic, now we are doing elimination action. And in elimination actions, halolecane, halorene showing beta elimination action. Beta elimination reaction. It's a very important action to understand. First of all, if we will take halolecane CH3, CH2, Cl, and it can react in two ways. This is what alcoholic QH. Before that, you have to understand that what do you mean by the beta? First of all, I am just going to open this carbon. This is having 3H. 1, 2, 3. Another one carbon and it is also having 2 hydrogen atom. And this is what chlorine. Alpha hydrogen. Alpha carbon is this one which is attached to the functional group like as choline. This is what beta and when we react this one chloroalkane, one chloroethane with alcoholic OH, we will get CH2, 1H will replace from beta carbon and it will come double bond then CH2 means of that removal of if I'll take KH here this K and Cl KCl will be removed and then this OH and this beta hydrogen which is attached on the beta carbon water will remove I will get here side product KCl and water with alkene why it happens so because of that Alcoholic QH. Alcoholic QH is the solvent of low polarity. Ye, this must have to remember that solvent of low polarity always leads to elimination. Elimination, so removal of one KCl molecule and one water molecule and we are getting the product ethene from the chloroethene. Next is that, next step is that, understand this one, C at 3, C at 2 and Cl. If I will react it with the alcoholic QH, this is the beta carbon from where the hydrogen will be replaced and I will get CH2 double bond CH2 alkene. This happens due to the alcoholic QH is the solvent of low polarity and it leads to elimination. And if I will do this reaction with the aqueous QH what happens when this reaction takes place with aqueous QH? Aqueous QH is the solvent of high polarity and this leads to substitution. This leads to substitution reaction. This can be asked in various exams. Why alkene will be formed from alcoholic QH and why the alcohol will be formed from aqueous QH then you must have to remind that this is the solvent of high polarity solvent of high polarity this is a very important action to understand to do the conversion also now this will goes to CH3 CH2 and OH so in this case 
I will get one product this K and CL K CL and one more product will not come here only but now the question is this this is very very important question that which we are, it is also related with the nucleophilic substitution reaction that why haloalkene gives nucleophilic substitution reaction nucleophilic substitution reaction but carbonyl compounds gives nucleophilic addition reaction nucleophilic addition reaction this is very important question on the behalf of so many board exam and competitive too this i will tell you in the next class and i will compare the nucleophilic addition reaction of the carbonyl compound and nucleophilic substitution reaction of the haloalkene on haloarene so next reaction is the next reaction is the reaction of haloalkenes with metals how it complete this is what i'll take cr3 cl and this is the magnesium i can take also this is the r br and this is metal magnesium takes place in dry ether and i'll get what r mg br or i can take x so in this way if i'll take this one cr3 br with magnesium i will get cr3 mg br and this is known as grignard reagent grignard reagent and reaction will takes place in dry ether dry ether why because of that grignard reagent is too much reactive rmgx is too much reactive it can react it can react even with moisture even with moisture and change into the haloalkene this is very important reaction with the help of grignard reagent like as if i take ca3 mg br by reacting the ca3 mg br or grignard reagent with the water i will get back the alkene with mg br and oh this is this year this is very important question it can be asked organo metallic compound organo metallic organo metallic compound is what means of that any organic compound which is having metal in this that is the r <coughs> mg x this is too much important for conversion also getting the halo getting the alkene from the haloalkene and in the next part we will do the chemical reactions of the haloalkene and haloarene but one question is more here which is more reactive which is more reactive halo alkene or halo arene 
when we discuss and see that in haloalkene the carbon is sp3 hybrid and sp3 hybrid means its s character is 25% and its bond length is 1.82 angstrom but when we will take or make the comparison versus haloarene i'll see that what in haloarene the carbon is this is carbon and this is 1 sigma 2 and 3 this is sp2 carbon and s is 33% and bond length is 1.69 angstrom then we compare and we can say that haloalkene chemically more reactive than haloarene due to the sp3 hybridization bond length is greater this is a two over for the chemical reaction of the haloalkene and in the next class we will see the method of preparation of haloarenes and their chemical reaction thank you student thank you